Hi, I'm Angela Grinick. I am really honored to be back at Main Street Prayer in Madisonville, Kentucky. And I was so excited tonight, Marco, when I came in. Barbie had sent me a picture last week that you were reading my one book. Yeah. And so what do you think about this book? So I was reading uh, Satanism, The Truth Behind the Veil, the yeah. newest edition. Yeah. And it has completely empowered me wow. to love those in the dark. I kept yeah. reading it and I had to read it section by section. I oh knew. yeah. I had to read it cover by cover yeah. and I had to speak it out loud so every bit of it has been spoken into the community's <laughs> atmosphere. And so Woo! with this book it it doesn't only just give you the truth about you know the mm -hmm. dark side but yeah. it gives you the truth about how Christians should be empowered yeah. and believe in themselves yeah. through Christ. You know. That is so, I love that because, you know when I wrote this, it was like, when we were in 17, I started writing in about 2007, 2008, and I knew back then it was like Buzz Lightyear, <laughs> years ahead of its time. But we are like that, right? Yeah. And so I thought, Lord, your people don't even want to embrace you know, 25% of Christ's ministry was in deliverance. Mm -hmm. He didn't deal with this, the foolishness and say, hey, for $5,000, I'll do a deliverance for you. Or, you know, if you want to get prayer in my healing line, you can pay $1,000, two or five, or 10000 because people do that. Yeah. You know, and I was like, no, Jesus said, freely I've given, I freely give it back. But, you know, Marco, I'm finding that more and more, especially parents, they mm -hmm. are not equipped. Yes. And, you know, everywhere you go, like on television, all you see is like they have a commercial and you go to this one land and you take the wand and mm -hmm. you're in, you know, Daikon Alley, you're back with Harry Potter and you move your wand and every, all the yeah. lights come on. And, you know, and these kids are like enthralled by the power and people, mm -hmm. if they're adults, you know, are cheering them on, come on, come on. Yeah. And, you know, and it's like you want to take them to a fantasy land, but you don't understand that you're mm -hmm. literally walking oh, them through. The doors, yes. Well, they're walking right through a mirror. <laughs> they don't even know they went into another side, another dimension of the darkness. And then they wonder, as the kids get older, why they start having more and more problems, mm -hmm. because they literally have their minds are seared. Yeah. A seducing spirit will sear your mind. Like I, okay, it's so fucking <laughs> cool. Like, I have my book right now with the editor, yeah. and um, I sent it to my girlfriend, Wendy Alec, mm -hmm. from the Tuck TV, and it's so flippin' awesome, because I'm like, Wendy, just tell me what you think, because she goes, well, she could do my forward. Yeah. And she's like, oh my God, she read two chapters, she's like, oh my God. Yeah. But it's called Rearmed, and boy, am I oh, extremely dangerous. On. Because that's kind of where we're at right now. Mm -hmm. We've got to get an extreme violent faith yes. stirring in our spirits. Yes. The kingdom of heaven suffer violent, Matthew, the violent take it by force. Yes. And we're called to take back our stuff. Mm -hmm. And so what would you tell people? Because you're like this most amazing, creative <laughs> young man. Yeah. I love that if you're in worship or flagging, I'm like, oh, yeah. God. <laughs> like, you just release an angelic realm. And, you know, maybe even people wouldn't even understand what you're doing. Yeah. You know? So a lot beautiful. of... A lot of what I do is based off childlike faith that God tells us to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I work with kids and I realize that it's just so simple. Jesus is so simple. The Word of God is so simple. Thank God. <laughs> for me. Uh, and <laughs> one of my favorite verses is Esther 4.14 that yeah. we've been called for such a time as this. But the other part of that verse is that if we don't stand up, mm -hmm. someone else will. Yeah. But God's choosing us, yeah. and so That's with this good. with this book, you know, you get personal testimonies from yeah. from individuals, but you also get a feel of what Jesus's heart for people are. Yeah. You know, That's we've so, lost thank you for that. Yeah, we've lost our identity and our authority, Come on. and so I feel like rereading this has reembraced with a backbone. <laughs> Come on, can I tell you about? Yeah. Well, I was flying and I was reading it on my Kindle. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Whoosh, this is so good. And I said it out loud on the plane. And the lady goes, oh my gosh, what are you reading? I go, Satanism, the truth behind the veil. She goes, really, what's the book about? And, I, and so I started to tell her, and she's looking at the cover and stuff, and she goes, well, in the back there, I, I mean, she's like, isn't that you? And I go, yeah, I wrote it like a billion years ago. And it, I like flamed on in the airplane. Yeah. I'm like, oh my God. 
the revelation, because every time I go back now, I am not kidding, I get so much more revelation. And now we're training up to 20 and 30 something to start walking in yes. that authority yes. and to take back what belongs to us. And that's why I'm excited about tonight. I said to Barbie, I said, that's what tonight is about. Yes. Um, because the enemy has stolen so much mm -hmm. and it's our time. But thank you so much for that. Because no it's it really blesses me because you know in your heart you're like, you know, it's just funny because you just think, Lord, is anybody even going to read it or, <laughs> you know, because you just really grew up with yourself. Yeah. My very first book I ever wrote ended up going into Salem, Oregon to a witch's coven. And I just kept laughing. I'm like, well, God, you not only do you have a sense of humor, but I think you're up to something, you know, and the Lord said, you're on target, daughter, stay where you are. Mm -hmm. And this is like, you know, I, mean, I started writing in 98 and 99, you know, and I look back now, 20 years ago, with writing and thinking, oh my God, you know, he said, you've always had a cutting edge on areas, yeah. and I believe if you stay true to that call, true to the faith, mm -hmm. God will move you beyond what you can even imagine. That's so good. And so that's where you're right now. See, this, I'm so grateful <laughs> that you shared this and that you did some stuff with yeah. me today. It's really important. We have to get ready to go in and preach. As always, I'm doing hit <laughs> runs, hit runs, hit runs. But um, what would you, just take a minute here. I want you to just, what, what else is in your heart? Because I feel like there's something else in there. Well, you know, because I do flags, I'm a guy, yes. and so you get a lot of word curses that get spoken over you, yes. being homosexual or yeah. any of that other yeah. stuff, but you have to know who you are, yeah. and you have to know where you stand with God. If yeah. you're doing a relationship with God, who cares about what other people are thinking, and I've had to break that off myself, wow. and so when I'm going for worship, yes. it's not... I'm doing it for you guys. As much as you guys may like it, it's for me and God. I want to be like the alabaster box woman where my I'm giving it all. I'm yeah. giving my year's worth of oil all. I'm giving it all. And that's what he wants. He wants all yeah. of us. He doesn't want that short little portion. Yeah. And that's what this book is really, you know, ingrained even more in me is because, you know, you can give all to the darkness yeah. or you can give all to the light. Yeah. And it's your choice. And, yeah. You and know. it's time to expose the darkness. Yes. Because people say to me a lot, well, if you just take the light into the darkness, it's exposed. I go, no, it doesn't really work like that. Mm -hmm. You have to do something with it. And yes. so thank you again for that. And so you'll be seeing more of the clips tonight. We have to get ready to go and preach. And the paper's just about ready to catch on fire because it's brown. And so we'll <laughs> see you soon. <laughs> oh. Oh.